communications, whether it's in a hazmat environment or a structural collapse environment or a confined space environment is paramount. Basements, concrete structures, steel, sometimes the radio system won't penetrate that environment. We're going into areas that there's no cell phone reception, there's no Wi-Fi. It's difficult for us to relay information timely. We can't always rely on two-way radios to get that done. We had a recognized gap in being able to provide a real-time video feed from a hot zone to a cold zone. Our ability to talk to each other reliably has the potential to really change the outcome of any operation. The Vorbeck HD4 vest provides live, full motion, high definition video, audio, and streaming data from difficult communication environments back to incident command and to every member of the team. The Vorbeck vest has the antennas, all the ancillary electronics. We have a Regent ES-1 radio embedded behind the main chest plate of the vest. That radio is the main communications link and also all of the processing for the mesh network from vest to vest and with the nodes as well. Using the Regent Troip system, tactical radio over internet, you can establish audio connections between members in a mesh network without any external server or routers or anything like that. So all they need to carry in is a vest. We also have portable nodes that allow them to communicate. And that establishes the data flow, but also the audio flow. Our ability to take a camera and place it in an intermediate space that we've already assessed and determined to be reasonably safe from a hazardous materials perspective, at those two things. It gives us a bigger view of the overall situation, as well as relaying the information, video, and audio feed back to the command post. You can start off with just one robotic system, put a drone in the air, get a second robotic system. The vests provide each person then is their own individual node, and it actually seamlessly meshes through that. It strengthens that connectivity, and you can keep adding nodes to the network. The advantage of having a drone in an emergency response situation is that you have that aerial perspective that you really can't get any other way. It also adds an aerial node to the mesh network, so it's a whole nother area of redundancy. We can mount loudspeakers, we can mount release mechanisms, sensors for detecting gases and other things. We can mount spotlights as well as any other sensor that you might want to integrate. You have a real-time video feed that's high resolution that's coming from the drone at all times and all the other cameras that might be in the network. You, you can make critical decisions in real time. We get a bomb squad call out some sort of suspicious device at a school. If we're able to send in a drone to get us right on top of the area, uh, we know what it is that we're gonna find environmentally when we get there. From there, we can send in a robot to get a closer look at whatever the device is. And hopefully we never have to send a human into that area, but if we do, we're sending them in with all of the information that we can possibly give them so they have the best opportunity to disarm the device. Put the robot in first, allow it to provide eyes on target, collecting the information and getting it back to the operators and the decision makers so they can make more strategic decisions. We really try and focus on making sure that the robot is designed for our end users who are really gonna put it to the test. The mesh network would allow us to go into those rural areas or into areas such as a mall or a hospital or something like that where we have connection issues. It would allow us to circumvent that existing infrastructure and develop what it is that we need. Bringing all this technology together, the reliability, the ease of setup, what we're able to do is communicate what we can see and really take advantage of subject matter experts. If we have good communications, we can cut down on that time it takes us to affect the rescue or mitigate the hazmat incident. The combination of the voice, the video, et cetera, gives the connectivity between the people in the hot zone and incident command so much more data.